What's up guys? It's been a while since we've seen you. Uh, we got back from our big road trip. It was gonna be six months, ended up being three months because of COVID, but it was super, super fun. And now that we're back, what we wanted to do was show you a bunch of the things that we did to make it easier to take our two dogs, Quinn and Sophie, on the trip. Our dogs are, uh, Quinn is a Boston Terrier Bulldog mix and Sophie is a Pomeranian mix. So they're a little bit uh, high maintenance, I would say. Uh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Quinn's got some allergies. Sophie won't drink out of things that are loud. So the, they weren't exactly easy dogs to take along, but we decided that we had to take them while we were doing the trip. And these were the products that made our life much easier. We will link all of these below for you. So first off for us, a vehicle that we chose was the 2009 Toyota Sienna minivan that we're in right now. Uh, it was a good mix of size, but also easy to drive for her and stuff. It's not, you know, a huge truck or anything. It doesn't suck up too much gas. It was pretty good. I got like high 20s to the gallon. Um, but we also were able to take out the middle two captain seats. So now we're just sitting on the back bench seat here and the dogs had this entire, they had way more room than we did in the van. But they had this entire back area all to them. We drove over 7,000 miles on this trip. So it was a, a good amount of driving and they surprisingly just slept pretty much the whole drive. Thank goodness. <laughs> Cause it would have been really difficult if they didn't like driving, but um, we, can't, we actually can't keep them out of the van now. They want to go in it all the time. <laughs> First up, we wanted to make sure that the dogs were comfortable. Since there's no seats here, uh, the little hooks for the seats are still in the van and they're just uncomfortable to walk on. So we padded this floor with as many towels and blankets as possible. Um, as a bonus, we got blankets and towels in case we needed them for the beach or because it was cold or anything. So uh, just pad the bottom of your vehicle as much as possible or if it's a seat, just put a towel on it so it's not as slippery and this was really helpful because the dogs got a lot more comfortable and they got to hang out here without being um, stuck by any like weird hooks. <laughs> Which leads me to my next item. This seat cover has been amazing. I don't think it's moved once. It is supposed to be waterproof and protective. Um, it also gives a little more grip. My dog's really weird about wanting to grip things and having texture. She gets nervous about slippery surfaces. So it actually has little holes here for the seat belt. So you can use this as a seat and we did for passengers, human passengers. But for the most part, um, this was great waterproof and we had a couple accidents, but it handled it no problem, easy to clean. And I think you can actually throw this in the washer as well. With dogs comes accessories. Uh, that's just how it goes with them. Um, so what we did was we got one of these back seat organizers. This thing's really cool. Uh, it has a lot of pockets. We devoted the entire top to dog bags, but this was nice because it's like, oh, I need a dog bag. They're right there. Boom. So this entire thing's filled with that. We've left it like that even since we came home from the trip because it's easy to get to. We have like tissues, uh, good to have. I even have tape in here just because it's like something I seem to use a lot on things. So not on the dogs, but good to have. Um, thankfully. Uh, a flashlight, so just like a tiny one. We had a shop light in the car too, actually, that I brought on the trip, um, like a DeWalt shop light. Uh, that thing lit up everything, so that was really cool to have, but a little clunky. We've also got one of these silicone dog bowls. This is for, you can use water or food in it, but um, Sophie trips out when it makes any noise. So like the food rolling and hitting the side of a metal bowl. She just loses it and she's always timid and she won't eat and stuff. So we figured out having soft textures like this work really well, plus easy to clean, takes up like no room. Awesome. Uh, gotta have a Kong in there for the dogs. And then, let's see, and then we have a huge water bottle that we carry. This thing's like, I think 64 ounces. It's, it's gigantic. Um, but I got it, we got a camo one because it was on sale. Uh, but yeah, holds a ton of water for the pups. Hard to close. <laughs> but while the dogs are on the road with us, uh, this is what we have them drink out of. This thing's super cool. It's got like a rim, right? So that if you splash it around, like it doesn't spill, um, but it's got a floating tray. So when like they kind of push down or when it loses water, like water hydrodynamics take effect and the water rises to the top, but it doesn't spill. So we keep this, I use it all the time. It's great um, for when we're taking the pups in the car with us. We knew we'd be driving a lot on the trip and keeping them safe was one of the most important things to us. So we did a couple of things to keep them from sliding around in the car. Sophie's really light, she's about 10 pounds. So she will fly forward if we stop suddenly. This is where this seatbelt came in. So basically you just 
push this on into any seatbelt clip and clip this to the end of their harness and she gets a little bit of range but not so far that she's gonna fly through the window this works really well on her I don't have to worry that she's gonna fly forward if we stop too fast because people in Texas drive crazily um, it's just a really good thing to have and this was pretty expensive and I just throw it in my car on a regular basis because I take her a lot of places this was really important this is actually the first thing that we bought for the van this protects the dogs from flying forward if they're on down here they won't fly forward they'll fly into this soft mesh and they also can't get into the front we didn't really want them to be up there because they're a distraction a cute distraction but a distraction nonetheless and when we have food they will not leave us alone so we wanted to just keep them back here keep them safe and keep them contained there were a lot of times on the trip where we came across really cool parks and fields and we always try to keep our dogs on a leash to protect them and the dogs and people around them but we like to let them run around at the same time, so that's where this long leash comes in. It's, just as you can see, it's a really long leash and it's perfect for letting them run around a field or a park or a playground um, with, with still having the ability to rein them in when we need to and keep them uh, close to us, but let them explore at the same time. You can buy these pre-made. You can actually just make these as well. Um, we bought rope at Home Depot and then just added this clip to go on their harness and voila, you got a long leash. One thing you can't forget to bring on a road trip with your dogs is toys. We brought a couple of toys, a couple of bones, um, Quinn's bed that she loves to chew, and this kept them busy, especially when things were just like seven hours in the car, they were getting kind of restless. We wanted to keep them busy, so sometimes we'd keep one on reserve and then throw it back to them when they got a little, little bit restless, and it worked pretty well. So definitely recommend bringing their favorite toys. So being up here, while the dogs were back there where you are, uh, it was hard to see them all the time. I could, I didn't want to like lean over and crash the car, and I didn't want Amy to be half to sit like this the entire time too, looking at the dogs. So what I did was I ran a camera, an extra little camera, up here on the ceiling, and then I have a switch right here. If I flip the switch, while the keys are in the ignition of the car, uh, not those keys either, uh, these keys, uh, what you do is you just have that on and we get a live feed right up here which is really cool. It's actually uh, where a baby mirror was inside the van. It's a flip down for that but I put a monitor, I put a switch, I can turn this on or off whenever I want and I can see the whole back seat uh, without having to turn around and I can just do a quick glance while I'm driving if I want to see what's going on. I also have a huge screen over here but this one's for a backup camera. Uh, but this one's nice. I can see the cab see what's going on, see if they're killing each other or if everything's all good and uh, without having to you know, be twisted the whole time. On our trip, we brought uh, two modes of transportation other than the van. We brought a little miniature bike by Jetson called the Bolt that Amy rode, uh, God bless her heart, and I rode a one wheel around a lot of the places we went. It was really fun to have little electric vehicles, but we had no room in the back of the van because we had seven suitcases plus two backpacks. We had a ton of stuff for us, the dogs, the electronics, the drones, the just stuff for like a six month trip, a lot of stuff, right? So I wanted to have an area that we could keep the electric vehicles that was different from where the dogs were and it wasn't the back. So I took a dog gate that we have, it's like a baby gate or a dog gate, and I just bungeed it into place uh, and then I wrapped the whole thing here. It was a little tighter during the trip like that, but it was a, it's a yoga mat. So we also had a yoga mat for when we wanted to work out, but we had a yoga mat here that would protect the dogs from this gate. And then it gave us this whole space over here to be able to put the one wheel in. I also put like uh, Quinn's dog food sometimes in here, uh, just things that we didn't want the dogs to get into, uh, but we still wanted to have with us. So those are the top things that we either did to the van, bought for the van, put in the van, changed the van. Uh, ways that helped us with our dogs on our road trip. We looked at a lot of different vehicles we decided the van was perfect and I'm still happy with it after the trip. I think it was really the perfect vehicle for this purpose. Yeah absolutely. With, between the mileage that it gets, the room that it gives you, uh, it's super easy to park it. Like that was really important when we were in big cities and stuff. Having like a huge RV or something would have been really tough. And like Quinn being an English Bulldog uh, mix, she doesn't do very well in like extreme heats all the time. So we didn't want to do any sort of van life or anything. So we weren't living in this vehicle in any way, but we were doing like back to back eight hour drives. And these little modifications, little products and little changes that we made for the van really, really improved our trip. And I think improved the quality of life of the dogs and of us. If you love your fur babies like we do, I'm sure you'll appreciate these tips. Um, if you have any questions, please drop us a comment below. 
and we will respond if we know the answer to your question. Yeah, for sure. And even if we don't, we'll give our best shot. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> oh my goodness.